If NextMap was not here, we would not be building synthesizers, I can guarantee you that. Many of our students come into the school underprepared as a result of uh, inadequate prior educational experiences. And given the budget context in California, they're not getting exposure to art, which is an essential, not only a way for them to develop intellectually and academically, but also as human beings. first section of this course, Sound Ecology, we were teaching students how to use portable field recording equipment to gather sounds in their community. The best experience I had so far in Next Map is I think getting to take the Zoom recorder home and record what happens in the surroundings that I'm used to. There's a lot of noises that I don't pay attention to that happen. And like with the record, I get to catch those recordings so other people can hear it. I got some good sounds from like my neighborhood, my community, and from school too, which is hilarious. <laughs> Instead of like walking down the street and just listening to the same things you hear people talking, you get to listen deeper into what you hear in the streets, like airplanes, you don't pay attention to that. The wind against the trees. My four-week course has been centered on synthesis and how to develop sounds from scratch using electronic components. My favorite part about the class is making the synthesizers and just putting the, the whole synthesizer together and learning about the breadboard, it's called. And which is, it's really cool to like move your hand over the breadboard and mess with the little wires and it creates different sounds. So one time I got like a UFO sound and it's really cool. What I've been able to do using very simple electronic hardware is show them that they can build an instrument and they can not only build it but they can make music with it. The, the last class will be with um, artist Pamela Z, and she's going to be teaching the composition. So my class, Andrea's class, we're about how to gather, think about, identify sounds, create sounds. The last four weeks, we designed this curriculum to be how to make them into music. So Pamela Z will be teaching the students how to use software to rearrange and compose music. There's some very practical things that they're learning about using the computer when they learn to edit sound on the computer. And we now live in a, in a world where you almost can't really get by in this world without having some of those skills. I think confidence is definitely something that uh, our students benefited from that I didn't expect <laughs> to come out of this collaboration. surprised myself when we were in the computer lab and I was editing really fast. I didn't even I didn't even remember how to edit it, but I was just doing it really fast and I was like, oh snap, I know how to edit music on Reaper. For me now this is like a different way to express myself, not just with normal beats, you would hear like a hip hop beat and stuff like that. But it's like I can make my own music the way I want it and then how I wanted to hear it not just with a certain beat that I have to use because it's already there. Initially they might have been shocked by some of the things that they were exposed to and were like kind of giggling and laughing. And now they might giggle and laugh a little bit more but they're open to it also. They're like, whoa, that's really cool. 
when you see the blogs and their comments about how creative something was or how impressed they were by how this artist created art out of something that they would have never imagined creating music out of. I think that's a really cool experience for our students. Gets them to be really open-minded and think about things in a different way.